Hi, I'm Dr. Adams, and I'm coming to talk to you about another important topic today. That topic is arrhythmias. For those of you who all don't know what that is, don't worry. Have you ever been walking around and felt like your heart just started flipping in your chest, just like doing cartwheels? Those are palpitations. You could possibly have an arrhythmia. But you know what? It could just all be in your mind too. But I'm gonna tell you today the important things to look for and why, if you have these things, you should come see me. So the two types of arrhythmias that I wanna to talk to you about now are broadly categorized as tachyarrhythmias and bradyarrhythmias. Tachyarrhythmias are arrhythmias where your heart rate goes greater than 100 beats per minute and you have some type of symptom or on an EKG, which is an electrocardiogram, we see an abnormal heart rhythm. Some of the tachyarrhythmias that we see most commonly are sinus tachycardia, which is a fast heart rate due to some condition, such as being scared or being dehydrated. And then we see tachycardias that are more concerning, like ventricular tachycardia, or atrial fibrillation, or uh, ventricular fibrillation, which can be life-threatening. If you feel palpitations and you feel symptoms such as shortness of breath, chest pain, or you lose consciousness, you need to make an appointment right away to see a physician. The other type of arrhythmia that I want to talk to you about are bradyarrhythmias. These are arrhythmias where your heart rate is less than 60. Now, let me be clear when I say this. There are well-conditioned athletes out there whose heart rates are always less than 60, and that's okay because the people I'm talking to are individuals with heart rates less than 60s and symptoms. So what symptoms? Passing out, fatigue, tiredness, poor energy. So if you get up to go in the day and you are exercising and you just can't seem to get your heart rate above 80, you may have an issue with the conduction system of your heart, which is causing your heart rate to stay uh, low. If you take medications such as beta blockers, they also slow your heart rate and can cause you to be bradycardic and have symptoms. If you're getting poor sleep because you have obstructive sleep apnea and while you're sleeping, your heart rate could drop into a dangerous range. So if you have obstructive sleep apnea or you're taking medications to slow your heart rate or you've had significant fatigue, tiredness or passed out, I want you to make an appointment to see me today. Thank you so much for your time.